Hi everyone, this is Simon from the Rehab Guru team. In this video, I'm going to go through some of the new features that allow you to record outcome measures. So you'll see some familiar outcome measures down the left hand side of this table here. And these are really enabled by some new form features. So in the form builder, we've added three new values. So we can have a formula field, we can have an information field, and a matrix field. But we've also added a few other things as well. So to demonstrate this, I'm just going to grab the multiple choice. I'll add this as um, slightly a bit more and very. So in this kind of setup, we might have an outcome measure that we're trying to record the sort of descriptor of their their pain or their um you know it, it might be something like a like a borg score where it has the descriptor for how um how, how hard somebody is working but then that has got to relate to a numerical value so that we can calculate it in the outcome measure so really common in these type of uh, surveys or questionnaires and the way that we are managing this is we can add in the text values or the descriptors in the multiple choice here. And then in the advanced configuration, we can set the numerical values. In this case, I'll just do one, two, and three. Click done. So when this form is filled out, what we will do behind the scenes is it will allocate the number for each of these descriptors. So this becomes really, really quite powerful when we add in the formula field. So you'll notice as I'm hovering around here, if I change this to a single choice, um, we have these form IDs or rather question IDs. And what we're able to do is use these question IDs to create a formula. So right now I'll just duplicate this a few times. And if we wanted to add up these three questions, then we would just be able to copy the question ID, use the plus button, keep copying these to create a small formula. What that's going to do is take the numerical values of each of these when it is filled out and add them together and give you a new entry or a new field in the form. One other thing on the formula field though is I'm going to click on advanced configuration and make this an outcome measure and that checkbox makes sure that it is shown on the reporting page of the patient okay so this is a very simple example but let's look at something a little bit more complex so we've got the hospital anxiety and depression scale which is a fairly complex form because it has two measures. It has a measure for anxiety and for depression. So it's called HADS and let's have a look at what this looks like in the form builder. So here we've got the descriptors. So I feel tense or wound up most of the time, a lot of the time, from time to time or occasionally and not at all. In the advanced configuration behind this it has got numerical values 3, 2, 1, 0. And that's the same for every question in this questionnaire. And then we've added two formula fields down at the bottom, one for depression and one for anxiety. And we've used the form IDs or the question IDs for the anxiety questions and same for the depression. And that's how we can split these two. OK, so once this has been saved, we're then ready to send that to a patient for them to fill out. And as we've demoed before, we can do that in the patient forms. Select from this list. In this case, the HADS. I would then click Save. And then I could send this to the patient. However, right now I'm just going to copy it to the clipboard so that we can fill it out nice and quickly. So I'm just going to skip down through this form. So in this case, this would have been sent to the patient. They've clicked on the link in the email 
and they are filling out this, this questionnaire. When they click save, that'll save all of those details back on to the client record. So right now I'll just refresh this page. And here is the results from that entry from the patient. And down at the bottom, the form has auto calculated the depression scores and anxiety scores. Another place where this is shown is in the reporting page where we can see these outcome measures performed over time. So these are the outcome measures. Here is the last entry for the HADS on the 13th of May. And we've got a depression score and an anxiety score. So over time, we're able to build up these outcome measures and see them over time and the patient's improvement over time as well. So incredibly flexible new features and you're able to build all sorts of really complex outcome measure questionnaires. The last field that I wanted to measure, mention is that some questionnaires have got a permission to use or a copyright um, section on them. So that brings me on to the last field that we can use, which is an information field. And what this is, is a simple text box However, it is disabled when it is viewed on the client side. So when you send this, it is essentially a piece of information text. It could be used for instructions or um, also displaying that copyright information if you do have permission to use a copyrighted um, outcome measure. So really looking forward to seeing what you can do with these. If you do fancy challenging the Rehab Guru team to see if we can replicate what you can with your paper uh, sort of photocopies, then we welcome that. Please send them in. Uh, you'll get in touch with us on Twitter or send it in to support at rehabguru.com.